Now, good evening everybody and welcome to another show and a very warm welcome to my special guest, Mark TVP. I'm sure he know, needs very little introduction. Good evening. Uh, good evening, Mark. Thanks for popping in. It's, uh, it's nice to have you here. Pleasure, mate. Absolute pleasure. So I reckon we'll start as per and tell us what you're vaping. What am I vaping on? I've, I haven't got many setups tonight. I've only got um, four. So I'm on well, the T class. Bad. Yeah, four's not bad. I'm on the T class with my Zeus X um, with some just jamming there. You're just liking the Zeus, aren't you, Mark? I think. Fucking love it, mate. I've got two on the go. Yeah. SB on and another Zeus X. This is my work setup uh, with my juice in there. Um, I'm using it for work just because it's leak proof as well. Hang on, when you say your juice, have you got a juice line or are you talking no, about? I've got your... a juice line, it's just one I made, I've made myself for a couple uh, of Ah, your years. homemade. Oh, yeah. Right. Have you ever considered that? Nah. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's just more, it's just more fucking hassle, isn't it? Um, I did get. So, obviously, I've been making this, this juice for a couple of years, and, and like I used to give it away, and people used to buy it now and again in the group, and I did get a couple of offers to have it made, but uh, I never pursued it. Didn't pursue it, okay. No, just more hassle. Um, G-Class, black and gold, with the fatality uh, and a matching tip. That's a very nice little setup, that. That's definitely thing. an indoor setup, though. Don't be going out with that. <laughs> it does look a little large. I haven't tried the fatality. Uh, and I'm on the new UL Blocks Squonker. Oh, I haven't seen that before. Have you not seen this? So this no. is, um, it's like a semi-regulated, it's 18650 though, which disappointed me. Um, but right. it holds 15 mil of e-liquid. It's just wow. a plastic bottle with a silicone sheet right down to the bottom. 18650, semi-reg. Yeah. Uh, but it's a pump squonker as well. You pump it at the top. Right. Okay. It's a squonk. Uh, and that comes with a Nunchaku RDA. Uh, it's performing well, actually, but the battery life's abysmal. Yeah, I because guess. Obviously, I vape at around 0.1, especially on semi max and max. It's just the battery life's terrible. Right. But, um, yeah, really enjoying it. Really good flavour from this RDA. And I'm a big fan of this pump squonk system as well. I don't, haven't seen it before. That is just like fresh and brand new to me, that. that. That set up. And that's you, Will, you say? Yeah. I didn't even know it was coming, Mark. Um, no fear, no limits, no what? No excuses. <laughs> it's a bit of a it's a bit of a pony logo on it, isn't it? It's a bit um, but yeah. I didn't even know they'd made it. I didn't even know it was coming, it just turned up last week. So oh, right. uh, that's what I'm vaping on, Marky Mark. Well it's nice to see that. And and uh, sorry, how, how big was that juice? Bottle again, ten mil. Not 15, 15, fifteen milliliters. Fifteen mil, that's amazing, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> and it pumps all right. I suppose once you filled it, you can forget about it. That's the day, isn't it? I would have thought. Yeah, mate. Would be for me. So, uh, well, what am I? I'll say hello to everyone in a minute. I'm going to get so behind tonight. I am useless at chat, Mark, and how you keep up on a Thursday, I don't know. It's tough. It is tough. <laughs> but, uh, you, you know, you do miss some people and they get the ump, but you just got to try your best, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll, uh, I'll recover in there in a minute. So, what am I? Well, I won't be long with that because i'm on my as usual my little true tank you still got your little true tank i have still got it yeah it's on my um oh it's on the it's here look hall of fame rack yeah it's on there <laughs> um yeah i still got it uh, that's something i'll keep as well good good that's nice it's nice that you do i've also been i don't know if you tried that have you the new k fun light 2019 i haven't it's not it's not floating my boat either it doesn't appeal to me at all no no, it's uh, um, it's grown on me. I will say it's grown on me, but it's got issues. I would have said, but mm. yeah, it is grown on me. What else have I got? I got the Bombus, but we discussed that last week, Mike and I. Uh, did you ever get the Bombus? I didn't know, and it's weird because I saw Vic's review and he loved, loved it. it. He absolutely fucking yeah. loved it, and then I saw Mike's review and he wasn't a fan. <laughs> You didn't see my review, because I weren't a fan either. <laughs> no, I did see yours as well, yeah. I, I did, but but... Uh, I've seen about six, seven reviews on it, and the, it's like 50-50 split. Is it? Uh, like three or four love it, and like three or four uh, can't stand it, so it's, it's a weird one for me. Right. Yeah, well, if we all liked the same thing, it'd be a boring old place, wouldn't it? So... And it's strange because I, they're coming out, are they coming out with a Wasp Nano RTA as well? Very, yeah. very shortly. 
<laughs> you've got that as well, have you? <laughs> it's, this, to me, is twice. I mean, look at them side by side, Mark. Twice. Oh. To me, that's twice as good looking, this this one. And I think it performs better as well. So, And the, the drip tip is nice. I mean, it, again, I mean, they're quite inexpensive, aren't they, both these items? They're, they're little cheapies, really, aren't they? But, Sammy Chris. Yeah, they are little cheapies. Zoomy they make, um, you know, they are, they are a cheap, uh, cheap company, aren't they, really? They are, but I mean, that's not a bad product. And I think that's quite a nice dinky little one that so i i like that um got that on top of the one of my subscribers actually bought me this little pico x oh, i've got one of them yeah i'm red well i can't well i can stock them but i'd have to buy them through a uk company because they got the rights blah 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 um so i don't uh what else am i on? i'm trying out their sxk boxer inside the Billet box. This is an updated, like a test version, because their first one had leak issues, and mm. I haven't got to the bottom of this one yet. But it's you know it still tastes nice. But mm. early days. I've only had it in there a day, uh, maybe two. And I think that's about it. There is another tank here, but I'm not going to mention that one. Uh, oh, and same as you, Geek Vape Zeus. Um, it's good, this, isn't it? Top airflow. We Both of us have always said, it's, what are you grinning at? <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I, know, I know what you're going to say, like, top airflow. We, we both always said that. It we both always said, you will not get the flavour from a top airflow, you will from no. a bottom. But this really does sort of kick that into touch, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think a lot of it's down to that ch um, chamber they put in the centre, where you know where it directs the airflow and the vapour. I think that's got a hell of a lot to do with it. Um, yeah. I think that's kind of what caves were going for as well with the Solomon V3 with that little, um, you know, the yeah, little, the little cap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just to direct the airflow and vapor a little, a little more to yeah. where they want it to go. Um, yeah. that, for me, it seems to work. It does work. I mean, I, I like both tanks to be honest, but I think the probably the Zeus has got the edge on the Solomon. That, that's oh right. yeah. That's. I, I, I would. I wouldn't even say for, definitely for me. Yeah, right. I, even though I'm. Listen, I was a massive fan of the Solomon V3. I thought that, and I said at the time, that's my favourite top airflow until this Zeus has come along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we better say hello to a few in chat. I've been awful. Sorry, chat. <laughs> Let me scroll up a bit and start at the top. Shane, hi, oh, Shane. James Khan, regular visitor. Um, street sleeper. Is that? I don't think I've seen you before. Street sleeper, he'd probably come to see Mark, but welcome. <laughs> uh, Mr. Ward, Coil UK, hi, hi, uh, Daniel, hi, Daniel, Shane, Laurie, Laurie's from Kenya, um, Bob, Bob Cottrell, Mark, uh, Ian Morgan, Richie, Laurie again, Mad Max Vapes, uh, Twisted, Mike, how are you, Mike? Um, how and what's this? Unicron Shoal? Unicron soul. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like fish. <laughs> he's a he's an old friend of mine, Cron. Is he? Right, yeah. okay. Um The Bristol Vapor, hi. Uh Ewan, hi Ewan, Tolmac, Shane Foster, Empire, Chris, welcome. Uh G Vapes, Doug Roberts, hi Doug, JP Ward, the Bristol Vape of Coil UK. I'm probably repeating these somewhere. Ronnie uh, Ronnie Campbell, you and I think I said. I think pretty much I've said hello to most. A lot of these are duplicates saying hello. And Seamus, I didn't know Seamus. And Nita. And I think Stuart is there now. And I think that is me about up to date. I'm sorry, I don't know if there's been any um, uh, sort of questions in there. I don't think there has. I think it's probably more more are saying hello so uh so mark you you moved to liverpool didn't you from surrey i did say yes how are you finding liverpool um oh you didn't mention dino hello dino oh dean i'm sorry <laughs> um do you know what it was a bit of a culture shock at first uh really really bit of um right 
took me a lot of getting used to, but uh, I absolutely love it now. You do. You're settled in all right now. I'm settled in now, finally. Listen, when you move, when you know, like, and especially going through what I went through at the same time, when you move in and relocate, and it's difficult, isn't it? But, mm. you know, it takes time. It takes a few months. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm settled. I'm happy. Me and Becca are getting on uh, fantastic. So, great, all good. Great. <laughs> Because, I mean, some people, when they move to an area, and I think I would probably be guilty of this, their accents change, but yours hasn't changed one jot, has it? <laughs> no, I mean, I spent I spent almost 12 years in London, um, right. but I guess well, I didn't move there until I was, you know, late 20, so my, my accent was pretty much set in stone. You pick up words and, and phrases that, especially Londoners say, you know, the, you know the, like the slang and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can't help but start replicating some of that, but yeah, my accent will never change. And you're not going to start saying um anytime soon. Um, <laughs> um no mate, no mate. <laughs> <laughs> Always makes me laugh that one. Always. It's funny though, because I always used to say like uh, the Scouse accent was one of the uh, most aggravating noises on the planet, but once you've lived here for a while, and it is predominantly scouse people that live in Liverpool, you just get used to it. It's like, it just becomes second nature, you know what I mean? And I reckon, like, going out for a for a beer and a bit of fun, that must be a lot cheaper than Surrey. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like half the price. Half the price. Unless you go into, like, li the proper Liverpool centre where all the nice restaurants and stuff are, and it's, it right. can be quite expensive then. I mean, uh, M Chris Empire, he can afford it because he's fucking minted, but, you know, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just a postman, mate, so I have to eat at McDonald's and KFC. <laughs> McDonald's. So I knew you were quite lucky there in a way, weren't you? Being like working for like the post service, so so you oh, could, yeah. you could just get a transfer without you know relocating's hard enough. If you had to find a job as well, that would have been a nightmare. Well, it's not that easy to just get a transfer. There's got to be someone that's willing to take you on uh, because a lot of Royal Mail now, since it's been privatised, they're all the very very money driven, money oriented. So a lot of offices don't really want to you know put that, that extra money into the office. So you know a couple of them did say no, but um, the one the one I ended up getting was about an hour and a half drive from my house. Uh, and at the time, I thought I'll take it because I haven't, well, I haven't really got an option, so I took it, and then luckily I'm, I managed to, I'm now I've managed to transfer somewhere a lot closer to where I live, so right, that's good. Cool, so, I don't know, so it's three hours on every day, and I mean, your hours are long anyway, wouldn't they? Yeah, not only that, it was petrol as well, so it was costing me like 40, 45 pound a week in fuel, um, and I had to drop papers as well. I, <laughs> so I was on full-time in London, and obviously when you transfer, they make you drop a few hours, so that didn't help either. Right. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting there now, back on my feet, finally. Back on my feet. <laughs> mm. I, mean, I haven't really spoken to you that, that much since you since you met. Obviously, I've seen you on your shows, but I haven't really, you know, we, we used to chat from time to time, but we haven't really done that much since the FP, I suppose. No, we, we haven't really. I've got you. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why, because we did chat quite regular, didn't we? But yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess life gets in the way, don't you? Like, well, life does get in the way, yeah. And, you know, I was conscious of the fact, perhaps, that you were, you had all your moving. Has anyone said anything in chat? Um, you can see chat, can't you, Mark? But look, I can see chat, yes, yeah, sir. That's good. That's great. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's a long one. Let's put that on. That's James. I think he's just actually replying. No, that's not really a question. Not really a question. You have got a question off Mr. Dugger Roberts, though. Well, not a question, but... Uh, is this the vape shell question? The it bomb? is. Whoop, I was trying to put that on the... Here we go. Doug Roberts, put that on the screen. Um, nature, nature Mark. Yeah, that's, that's a bit complicated, isn't it? It's... Nature <laughs> <laughs> What about old Mark and young Mark? That'll do. Yeah. <laughs> You'll take that, that works, won't you? That works for me. Although I'm not, I don't think I'm much younger, Mark. Well, I don't know. You're a bit. <laughs> I'm using a vape shell. ND, ND, finding it and. great. Sorry? I think oh. you mean and. And. Oh, right, yeah. See, that's you're, you're younger, so you understand this, this short chat. I always spell in full with commas and. <laughs> uh, find it great flavour, Mark. So th oh, thanks for advising me again. Oh, that's all right. Sorry, I thought it was going to be a question there. Now, you're more than welcome, Doug. Uh, I'm pleased you're enjoying it. I do like the vape shell in the billet box. I think that's one of the the best rebuildables you can put in there. You 
have you ever embraced the bullet box, Mark? I don't think you really have. I haven't, mate. Do you know what? Um, I've always fancied one as well. Always fucking fancied one. And it's just something that I never got around to uh, purchasing. You know, I used to put it in my basket all the time in Fast Tech. Right. Just never got around to getting one. Um, <laughs> we can always ask, mate. Um, uh, yeah, I know, I know you, you stocked them, didn't you? But, yeah, still I mean, I've always fancied one. But, like I say, just one of them things that I never got around to trying. We sell a lot of billet boxes, but they are, I always think, they're more for people who like to tinker. They're, mm. They are. They're, they're, you know, you try so you try this, you try that, you put a different coil in. They're not really for the man that just wants to like screw a coil and dump oh, juice no, in. They're not, they're not a pick up and go. And just they're not. Them. They're really not. You've got to fiddle with to find, you know, find the best, the best coil, the best um, rebuildable for you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and obviously last week we had, we had a nice show last week, not that we're not going to this week of course, we had Mike on last week and you, you have a show with him on a Saturday very often mm -hmm. with BZ don't you, and, uh, which I do watch as I was explaining to, to Mike, so you didn't have one this Saturday because of the uh, Christmas yeah, it was charity. The, yeah, the 24 hour charity stream. Yeah, uh, yeah. Man, that must have been brutal. Oh, look at Eat My Baby. Look, TVP must be the old mark. <laughs> fudging, fudging. <laughs> yeah. You've heard of uh, I had a hard paper round. Well, you had a hard post round, didn't you? <laughs> I'm trying not to swear as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice of you, Mark. That's, that's, that's nice that you're making the effort. I will tell you, I haven't quite succeeded. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Here's a question for you um, from Shane Foster. Uh, can you read it? Can you see it? Or do you want me I can to read see it? it? Yeah. 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 Um, there is there is something uh, that's piqued my interest, and it's the new. And I just had the email yesterday from Helvert. It's the new Rebirth RTA from Mike Verps. Um, obviously, following on from his RDA. So it'll be interesting to see what that's like, and also the new uh, Profile Unity RTA. Which is going to be a mesh RTA. Um, I know it's been tried before, hasn't it? Mesh. Van de Vape did one. Yeah. Uh, um, did Digiflavor do one as well? I think they did, but it was the, my last experience was that profile, and I just thought it was tasteless. But yeah, I, I didn't like. I didn't enjoy the profile idea. I think I no. was. I think me and you were one of the very few that didn't actually <laughs> um, <laughs> get on with it and said the flavor was a bit porny, which to me it was. Well, I even tried the 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 other mesh, the the O R O F R F or what mesh, yeah. and I, I just got no more from that either. So, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the new RTA because apparently the way they've designed it and the way the way it's been made, it's going to be in, the, the weight's going to be in, sat in constant juice, if that makes sense. So you're not relying on like a normal RTA, the suction and the and all that to to wick it because obviously there's a lot more wick in a mesh. Um, in a mesh coil, and yeah, so yeah, yeah. it'd be interesting to see if it works, whether it floods, you know, whether it wicks well, you know, if you leave it sat, is it going to leak juice out overnight? You just don't know, do you? So no. yeah, they're, they're the two I'm looking forward to. And I've seen different techniques for the mesh as well. You seen the one where they like really roll up this cotton, then they put the mesh over the top, then they tighten the mesh down. Uh, but I tried all ways. I tried the one thing I did realize: you have to really cram that that cotton in there, don't you? Oh, you do, because if you've got no cotton touching that mesh, uh, you're in Ooh. trouble. <laughs> Where are you going, Mark? you just moved camera. I know. I'm just going to see if that's any better. Now I'm uh, a bit further away. Was that? Were you unhappy with it then? <laughs> you got off screen. <laughs> I just look like... Well, I just look like really close. I don't know. Well, now you've gone off screen. You're right, right to one. <laughs> that was quite funny. <laughs> um... Oh, let me move it back. That's bad. That's fine. That's fine. No, that'll do. Are you afraid Putin see all your blemishes? <laughs> yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I told you, mate, I've had our paper out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not quite with this. Let's put this one. Oh, I've got to get rid of Shane first. Sorry, Shane. Off you go. Off the screen. Um, d this my fucker? <laughs> Mr. Just Right One and TVC collaboration with the unit of the Unity or on the Unity. 
Yeah, they're both design, co-designed it. Um, right. I think I think uh, Mr. Just Right uh, has brought Brian in from the Vapor Chronicles just to help with the fine details. You know, you know what, what I just said about the wicking aspect mm. of trying to wick and mesh RTA. Um, I think that's why I brought Brian in, so it's like a dual collaboration between them two. Right, right, gotcha. Thank you, Mark. See, your, I mean, what I always liked as well about your reviews was you, you do come from knowledge, in my opinion, um, and your early videos, I know you spent a lot of money, didn't you, on, you know, yeah. from various sites that you bought most of your own stuff, as, as I think everyone does, you know, in the early days. But Yeah, of course, yeah. You know, you had so much there. You, your knowledge, I, I thought, was good, and you know, I, there are certain people I watch when I wanted to think about stocking something, perhaps, and you were certainly one of those people. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've always said, listen, if you're if you're going to review something and um, you know, be be a reviewer, then you need to have a certain degree of knowledge about what you're fucking reviewing. Otherwise, you're gonna eventually you're gonna get found out, aren't you? You're gonna look a bit of a pleb. In my you opinion. are. Yeah, you are. So, you know, you need to, I'm not saying you need to know it all because nobody knows it all, but you need to have a certain degree of knowledge on the things you're vaping, how things work, why this works, why this has been designed like this. Yeah. Like, otherwise, yeah, you're just going to look a bit of a pleb in the long run. <clears throat> yeah, and there are certain products that, you know, perhaps I don't like and other people do, but not in the main. I think when... The majority of people say, "No, this is good." It, you can pretty much hang your hat on that, can't you? I think. Oh, absolutely. You... I mean, the, the, there's very few products that. I mean, going back to the profile, like I think me and you and maybe a handful, you know, agreed and said the flavour wasn't all that, but everybody else raved about it. Yeah. For me, it really wasn't all that. I'm not just saying it to be controversial. Mm. I always say I give my opinion on something. I use it. Um, you know, I break it down. I, I test it. And then I'll yeah. tell you what I think of it. And for me, it didn't live up to the hype. Expectations. Matt Benson has put, hey, hey Mark, so he's talking to both of us. Um, <laughs> will you go easy on Vic if you don't like the Kelpie? Nope. <laughs> That's an outright nope. No. <laughs> um, no. I, Mark and I are the same ilk on things like this. If, if it's poor it would we would tell the truth but oh god the thing you is, and it, the, so here's the thing with Vic's rta right vic has designed it from top to bottom and i know this i know this he's designed it from fucking from the five ten pins to the drip tip and everything in between so you know it's gonna be it's gonna be decent he's not gonna sign off on it unless that thing vapes very very good so you know, I'm not expecting it to be shit. Am I expecting a couple of things that maybe I don't like about it? Of course, nothing's perfect, but um, you know, I'm expecting pretty decent things from it. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna come clean. I'm, I have got the pre-production sample here, so I'm not showing it off because I don't want to steal Vic's thunder, and I think that would be completely unfair. So mm. I'm, I'm waiting for Vic to do his piece. But what I will say is. <laughs> It's not crap. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Far from it. It's really. Uh, and, and we would have been. We would have been very, very surprised had it been uh, not yeah. to par. So, yeah. and that's not saying. I know a lot of reviewers say uh, they hold review products to a higher standard. I personally don't necessarily agree with that. Um, I have a. Do I have a certain expectation going in? Of course. Of course I do because you know you're talking about someone that's been. In, in the reviewing game and tested a lot of products over the years so you know you you like going back to what i said earlier certain having that certain degree of knowledge of what works mm. and what doesn't work i think in Oops. some ways you're, you're possibly a little more critical if anything because you don't want to be seen to be biased so you know you're you're certainly not helping it along its way do you know what i mean and well it's yeah that's the thing though mark like when when vic reviewed the fp when you reviewed the fp like everyone was saying or a lot of people were saying well you just buy it because it's tvp nonsense mm. nonsense I, I like me and vic spoke me and you spoke way before i knew that you know and i said if it's shit it's fucking say it's shit but i was i was confident very very confident that once people built it and vaped on it and that do I had a it. lot of customers with the FP who bought one, then they bought another one. So yeah. they wouldn't they wouldn't buy two, and some actually even bought three. So Do you know, there were so many people did that. So they buy a stainless one, and then they buy a black one as well, mm. and they'd be rocking two 
at the same time, which, yeah. yeah. Great. And Ronnie Campbell, Nature Vote, will you be stocking Vic's Kelpie when it gets released? I certainly will, and I, I get on really well with EH Pro, which is fortunate. Um, you know, that's a great position for me to be in. Um, and yes, I will. I'll be stocking Vic's Kelpie by the bucketful, so I have no fear of that. You should be you should be one of the first to get them as well, shouldn't you? Because you do have a really solid relationship with the I do, and if I'm not the first, I'll be annoyed. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, they we get on very well, and and they look after me, which is nice. It's a mutual thing. I look after them too. I'm a I'm a loyal person as well, Mark, as you as you know. And you know, if people look after me, I look after them. Uh, yeah, you don't get you don't get much of that now in this uh, industry, Mark. Anymore, I'm afraid loyalty. It's uh, few and far between, my friends. You are right. You are right. You're 100 percent right. And some of the things I just cringe at. But anyway, we won't go down that road. We won't go down that road. No. <laughs> I might end up swearing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, evening, Mike. Mike has put a comment on MF. Uh, I'm reviewing the profile this week, just need to edit. Funny because I didn't think it was all that either. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, it's, listen, I, I value everyone's opinion on, on stuff like that. Listen, mesh is not for, it's not for everyone. Um, and I didn't, I'm not going to say I, I didn't enjoy it because it was mesh, but that was uh, a major influence on it, mm. having the mesh in there. For me, I just don't think. Now, what? So when they advertised it, and everyone, like most people that reviewed it, was squonking with it, I don't think it squonked all that well, especially with thicker liquids. It just, it was a nightmare to squonk with. It was. Um, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, it it definitely was. And um, here's a nice question for you, Mark. And um, I think I know the answer. Gap tooth fraud TVP. Have you got any plans to make another atomizer of any kind? Uh, I'm not going to answer that because that's a troll account. So. Is it? Yeah, I'm not answering that. Would you... Um, okay. Daniel, you are the spanner. If that's a troll account. Oh, where did we get to? Uh, you got a question there off Mr. James Khan. This one here, Nature Vape. Uh, will the mm -hmm. top cap of the true RTA get a more closed look on it and the V... Oh, I'm making a V2, am I? <laughs> <laughs> are you making a V2, Mark? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> um, the only thing putting me off of those... James, I completely agree with you. And we've just said nothing is perfect. And, yeah, I couldn't agree more. Uh, I, it was one of those things where I wasn't happy with seeing that. But what I was happy with is, like, a lot of the other mouth-to-lung tanks, as you're screwing the top cap on, and, Mark, you'll relate to this, that then it builds the pressure down on the on the deck and that's yep. when you start to vape it and it gurgles well it's the old carefun problem isn't it that's that's what we call it um, yeah so you have to turn it upside yeah. down fill it and that's that's primarily the reason um and a lot of a lot of people in chat won't remember this we used to have bottom fill tanks um mm. to relieve that pressure what do you mean you know, used when, when, to have mark you what mate what do you mean, used to? No, no, I know I used to have. I mean, that. No, but this is a bottom fill in 2019. That's ridiculous, in my opinion. <laughs> in <just> 2019. <laughs> but do you, you, you remember, Mark, when Top Fill first came in and it, it wasn't, it had some issues because of just that, that what you just said yeah. exactly, that's pressure. Yeah, yeah, it did. And I've seen, they've tried to get around it by putting a, a groove up on the thread, haven't they? So as you. Well, the, the, I think the first way they tried to get around it was G flow control. <laughs> Yeah, uh, um, yeah, that that was the first thing they did. So well, you could turn off the G slow control, you know, yeah. do your thing, and then pop it back together. The trouble is when you popped it back together, that pressure still got to go somewhere, so yes, it went it straight has. to the hole when it opened up. It just delayed the. <laughs> it just delayed the process, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, and I always, I always said I weren't a fan of juice flow control. It was a little bit uh, pointless, <clears> my opinion. but yeah. I think they've actually nailed it now. Were like you just said, they redesigned the inside of the top caps and stuff like that to release some of that pressure that doesn't entirely work i do i like this um zeus top float top mm. cap because there's very little going on there it's like a bit of a well, they, the, yeah the, the bayonet fitting that, yeah. that was the major um 
the major reasons for that bayonet fame was to stop all that screwing and pushing yeah. that pressure, that air yeah. pressure down. Yeah. So, James, the answer to your question is, if there ever is a V2, which I'm not sure there will be, but if there ever is, the top of this tank is probably, well, it's, it is the, the one thing I would change, I think. Listen, what Mark's trying to say is his next V2 is going to be bottom filler, all right? So, <laughs> <laughs> well, can you imagine, Mark? And I touched on this last week, and I didn't want to be a, look an idiot about it, but if I'd swapped these two round, right? K Fun released this, and, and I released this, I'd have been hung, drawn, and quartered. By me? Yeah. Number well, one. Well, by everyone. By me. I would have absolutely torn you a new arsehole. Before I even <laughs> reviewed it, when you sent it to me, I'd have torn you a new arsehole and said, what are you playing at? No, yeah. listen, no one, it's like you just said, it's 2019. We don't need or want bottom fill. No, no. But it has well, it has grown on me, to be fair. But Listen, you might listen. You might get a good fit from it. It might be good build quality. It might be, you know, d decent flavour. But that bottom fill just kills it for me. Absolutely yeah. just... The, the, there's... Knowing it's bottom fill, they would never get a penny of my money. Mm. You know, and if it was if it was top fill, I'd probably consider it because it's not that expensive. I mean, what is it, 60, 70 quid? 70 quid, but I mean, there's already, it's, I think about four companies have already copied it. Um, <laughs> one one company has copied it with a, a plain one. It, has, it hasn't even got K-Fund written on it. It's got nothing written on it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, if I stopped. Do you know if uh, Do you know if Assets cares in the game yet with this? Yeah, they've they've already done it. Yeah, they've already done it. Uh, YFTK have done it, um, and a couple of others. But I just, I, I got in trouble for selling the K Fun Prime, uh, the SXK version, um, by obviously <laughs> it's not hard to work out who, who reported me, is it? Um, but I think because it's plain, I wouldn't see a problem. But the thing is, so when when you sold that on your site, did you did you call it the Care from Prime? No, I called it. Um, oh, what did I call it? The SXK Style Prime. I think I called it. Yeah, you maybe just want to word it a little more clever, like like they're doing China now. They'll call it the the SXK KF. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Is is that what prove it's a clone? You know I what I mean? Prove I, it. I was thinking they're calling it the <laughs> I've got it written here, the Ed Zachary. <laughs> like the Chinese Ed, Ed, Ed Zachary is the same. <laughs> and and the thing is with SXK, they're a company and they're all right. So, you know, you call it the SXK KF. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, no you, no one can do you for that. Nobody can do you for that. Oh, uh, where did we go? I haven't been reading these. Um Oh, here we go. Let's <laughs> put Tolmax on. Nature Vape, you do not sound like someone from Norfolk. Did he move there? No, I was born here. Um, I think they say Norfolk born, Norfolk bred, strong in the arm, thick in the head, isn't it, Mark? That's, what that, that's the one, Mark, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I, think I, was... doing, I think you're doing yourself a disservice there, Mark. <laughs> Um, no, I was born here. Um, I was born near near Norwich. So, yeah, I was born in Norfolk. Maybe I've got a Norwich accent. They are different, actually. Norfolk and a Norwich accent are different. Uh, well, I've got to put this one up from T. Bisco. Um, T. Bisco, got my true tank last week. It's awesome. Well done, dude. Well, thank you very much, T. Bisco. A little bit of self praise there. I'll put it on the screen, Mark. No wrong with that, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't break myself, that no one else will. Time, mate. Say again. Nothing wrong with wafting that ego from time to time. <laughs> Waft it? Is that how you do it? We Just waft it a little bit. <laughs> Basking it. <laughs> um, I think a great answer. I don't think there's a... MF prefers a dual coil. Yeah, I mean, dual coil or single, Mark? For you. Dual. Because you, you said earlier you're, you're about on a... what? 0.10 now? 0.10, yeah. You've gone down. You used to be more... I mean, I'm about 0 0.16, 0 0.17, and I think you used to be about the same, didn't you? I, I, yeah, I hovered from 0.15 to 0 0.2. Um, I just... I don't know. Like, so my coil primarily what I use now is stainless steel aliens. Um, and I just I just prefer them. I've tried them at 0.2. I've tried them at you know, 0 0.17. 0 I, I just love them at 0.1. That's where, that's right. where they shine for me. 
Point one, eighty two hundred watts, perfect in a tank. I can't understand why your single eighteen six fifty isn't lasting very long. <laughs> but no, exactly. Yeah, I mean, they, I'm lucky to get her and a half out of this. <laughs> oh, well, that's not fair, is it? Um, <laughs> you think Ron's whole? The problem with watching these shows while at work is people wanting you to actually work. That's oh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Stuart in chat, I've got a gear style tank for seven pound. You can't complain. Right, I don't, I don't, I don't, the 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 clone the the gear. The gears. How much is the gear? Mike, they clone everything. They clone Van de Vape stuff. Like they, they clone. You know, like the Rebirth R R D A. You can pick up for twenty two quid when it when it was brand new. Right. They clone yeah. it. They clone it, and you can buy it for five six pounds. So. I didn't, I, I, listen, I've always said, I've always said, me, I don't understand that. Um, I don't understand why somebody would buy, like Stuart has done, a gear tank there for seven pound when you can pick the authentic up for, you know, a little over twenty quid. But you, when you think in hindsight, if somebody's buying three or four items, then that's that's forty fifty quid they've saved. So I can see the reason why. But I think, yeah, but I, I am actually with you on that for something that's twenty twenty five quid. I would yeah, just. I just I'm not. I'm, I'm not just, feeling it. No, I would just. Have, I what I, the way I look at. Let's have a bit of a clone conversation. Now. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm happy to do that. You know my stance on. Well, clones. the way I look at it is this: I've got a lot of genuine stuff, and I've got a lot of clone stuff. Mm -hmm. I've often, in the past, bought a clone. Thought I really like this. I'm going to have a genuine one of these. And I've done that. So how are you doing the 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 genuine guys a misservice if because I, I for argument's sake I wouldn't drop like I've got a genuine billet box and I've got a lot of copies obviously so but I wouldn't have dropped three hundred quid on a billet box without well, trying one yeah, first. Here's my problem. Here's my issue uh, with um, authentic manufacturers mourning and bitching about clones. So you've got this the Haku. This is the yeah. SSK version. Yeah. Now, to buy an authentic one of these, you have to join their Facebook group, you have to join a list, then you have to get selected from that list, then you have to go into into uh, another waiting line, then you have to pay for it, then you have to wait again, then you receive your item. All that rigmarole, and um, I think it was $250. You've missed a bit. Then great. you have to email them and say how grateful you are yeah. to have the opportunity. To yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and so you've got to go through all that, <laughs> jump through all them out, wait months and months and months, uh, pay $250. Um, and you can buy this for 20 quid or 15 quid. Yeah. And, pff, you, know, you know what I mean? Now, that's where clones shine for me, like the Carefun clones as well. Um, I remember my very first clone was uh, a Carefun. I forget the name of it. It might be the Carefun Light. Um, and I, c I can see the reason for cloning them, because the high-end expensive tanks... Well, they were about 120 quid, weren't they? Certainly yeah. 100. I mean, I know I say high-end. A lot of people would scoff at that. But for me, that's high-end. And for a lot of vapors, that's uh, yeah. a high-end yeah. tank. Uh, so I can see the reason behind cloning them. Listen, when you start cloning Van de Vaep stuff and fucking Geek Vape stuff, then, you know what I mean, you can jog on for me. It's yeah, just... that's... Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm one of the cheapest bastards you'll ever meet, Mark, but... You, will, I would not. I would never entertain like buying. Well, you can't understand the manufacturers. You, you know that. I know it's easy to copy stuff with modern technology, but you know to to copy a twenty five. How much money do you think you're going to make on on that item? I mean, you, I don't know what the wholesale cost would be. I've never. Never gone into it, and never would. To be fair, I'm well, the, listen. If, if they're selling, so let's say they're selling a Van der Vaep, um or a Helvet Rebirth for seven pound. All right, yeah. call it ten bucks. Seven pound forty was splitting hers. Yeah, how much does that cost them to make? What materials are they putting in there? What insulators are they putting in there? You know yeah. what? What the screws made out of? I just thought I wouldn't. I wouldn't no, trust I wouldn't, that as far I as I can be try. happy with that. At least I mean, you know, with SXK, what you're getting is decent stuff, isn't it? And well, a lot of the a lot of the authentic manufacturers get SXK to machine stuff for them, so know you do. know exactly what you're getting with them. You're getting you very good machine yeah. quality. They use yeah. they use quality stuff. Because they make so many at a time, like let's say the care fund. How I many care funds have SXK sold over the years? Oh, gee, I wouldn't even like to hazard a guess. More no. than Sport Best, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they probably have. Absolutely yeah. more than Sport for, for Best, though. That's where yeah. that's where SXK really shine for me, making the care fund series. Yeah, yeah, but they do their own stuff as well. 
do. It's not, yeah, it's not just that. Um, Oak Island series that had an issue too much pressure then floods the deck. Oak Island series. I don't know what that is. Do you, Mark? No idea. That's from Seamus. No, I'm sorry, Seamus. I don't know. Um, here we go. Muffin Man. Evening, guys. Looking for some advice. What would you recommend as a budget dual regulated squonker? Well, I guess it's, I guess it's that one, isn't it, Mark? It's got to be top side dual. Yeah. It's yeah. got to be. Um, although, what I will say is, it's not a dual battery. It's not a dual battery, but it's a twenty-one seven hundred. Um, I'm pretty sure in a lot of places as well, you get the 21700 with it. It's the Pico Squeeze 2. Yeah, that, that, do you know what? that looks nice, doesn't it? it, it do nice. you know what? I, I, this is... Um, you know, like a lot of E-Leaf stuff, I'll, I'll either give away or fucking bin it or just, mm. just fuck it off. Uh, but this one, I've actually kept because I really enjoy using it. It's got very good battery life. Uh, it's, it, the quality on it is very, very good. The fit and finish is very, very good. Um, I just don't like where the button is on the back. Right. It's that's the little the, um, screw bit on the top that's always put me off, and this this little Pico's got. So I mean, I love the. I don't know if you've yeah, got, the, yeah, the form factor in it. But once you've got a, an, an RDA on there, yeah, like that doesn't become as prominent. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. you know that makes yeah, sense. That right. um, yeah, doesn't it? Doesn't catch your eye quite it does as blend much. a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, you can see with mine. Yeah, but they're, they're great little products, aren't they? Yeah, no, I think I think they are. So yeah, good call on that one. Um, Magumba, Magumba, uh, Nature Vape. Are uh, or you are an EH Pro Distro, and you have you got samples of Vix Tank? Well, we've 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 done that, and yes, I have, but I'm not discussing it because it's not fair to Vic. I want Vic to have his moment. He's worked hard. I mean, Mark knows how hard it is to do it. I know how hard it is to do it, and. You know, it, it. I would have been annoyed if someone would have done it to me, and I think you would, Mark. If I'd have stepped... oh, I think the worst thing that could happen to you is someone goes up you and get a review or a video before you. That's yeah. like got to be the biggest kick in the nutsack. Like just. Yeah. So, yes, I have got one, um, but that's as as far as I really want to go with that. And yes, I'll be stocking them. Um, I I don't know a time scale on it, but. Knowing EH Pro as I do, from the stage they're at now, I'm going to say we're four to six weeks away. Well, he's already okayed the final version, so they can go into manufacturing like whenever now. I know, but I still think they are probably four to six weeks away. I bet, I bet yeah. four. Yeah, so no, instead of this time next year, Rodney, we've got this time next month, Rodney. We're, we're, all right. we're getting closer. We're getting closer, people. All right, relax. Patience. <laughs> patience, patience. But yes, I'll be stocking them, and uh, I won't be shy on the numbers, so uh, there'll be plenty for all. Um, I, I think they're going to sell really well. Yeah, I do, I do too. I do too. Yeah, it's a... It's a nice looker too. Mark, are you sure the K-Fun top doesn't unscrew? I am bloody certain it doesn't unscrew, if you'll pardon my French. It <laughs> was bloody bad, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> do you know why I don't swear? Did, I, in public or in general, I do. And you've, you've had a conversation. I've, I know you swear, Mark. Yeah, exactly. Right. And I do. I'm a normal person. But I always look at it that... Behind me is my business, Nature Vape, and I, no, exactly, I'm, yeah. I am a reflection of that company, and mm -hmm. and that's why I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's not a challenge. Not well, a everybody way. knows you as as just such a gentleman, which you are. I'm not saying you're not. Like I'm not saying it's all uh, an act, but <laughs> you are. You are an absolute gentleman. But you listen. You like everybody else. You, you cuddle it every now and again. I do. In you know when I'm out for a beer with the boys, cuddle it. I'm, I'm, same as anyone else, but are you sure it doesn't unscrew it? I don't know. Have you got a faulty one, do you think, Mark? Because literally, you have to hold... I'm going to hold it with a screw. It does not unscrew. You have to hold that bit and unscrew that bit. It does not unscrew. Have you had someone else say that? Because I cannot do it. And you know the little screwdriver they give you the, with a straight one end and the Phillips the other end? Yeah. It's the most useful thing they give you because you have to chuck that in the airflow and turn it, I don't know if you can mm -hmm. see that, 
turn it with a screwdriver and that is the only way I can unscrew that tank. But I will be putting a review up and that will be obviously in there. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to that video. Um, oh yeah? I am, yeah. <laughs> it won't be a gush. <laughs> I've, seen a, I've seen a couple of uh, videos on it and it has been a bit of a gush fest. To it has? Uh, yeah, that, it irritated me a bit. And Mark, you, you've had like my tank. When was the last time you have to Let's let's do this. Tissue. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, come on. I've been you, right. This is this was full cleaned out and full this morning. And where my nail is, you can see the level of my fluid. So, and I'll take the drip tip off. Let's shove a tissue up the drip tip. Perhaps that's why they didn't give it a clear drip tip, Mark. That's, oh, up, that's up the drip tip, right? Now let's go down another bit on the top, underneath the drip tip. Yeah, now, that's disgusting. That's that, underneath that. the drip tip, right? And there's plenty of wick in here. Now, worse than that, in my opinion, that, yeah, I haven't even got to get a tissue on this. Right, I'm going to do it. In the because it the airflow adjusts inside this 510, if I stick a tissue up there, oh god, so not being funny. And the top of my mod, which these mods are expensive, a lot of them, put another bit of tissue on there, and there you go on top of your mod. So <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just not it's not doing its job is it it's not doing what it should be doing um, and, and that's what i said well, how can you gush about that as a as a proper product honestly no you in, can't in I my mean, opinion it's, it's clear it's clearly flawed somewhere along the line and and listen we i know care funds have got this this name in the industry and pro probably you know deserve to an extent but Everybody who owned, who, who's ever owned a care fund has had an issue with one at some time, some point or another, whether it comes to wicking, leaking or something. So, I don't know, maybe it's time for the name to die. Um, I don't know I don't know what your take is on that. Tina said hello. I always get told off for not saying hello, so hi, Tina. <laughs> Tina's my other half, Mark, so you say hello to her. Hi, um, Tina. I, I wouldn't say it's time for her to... Uh, it's time for her to die, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he said, how red this is. No, I wouldn't say it's time for, for K-Funt to die. And I, vaping it, I've said, it's grown on me. The vaping of it itself is nice, it's pleasant. But yeah, but listen. Why can't we have a why can't we have a, an overhaul then uh, from top to bottom? You know, make it make it a twenty nineteen tank, something like the gear, something yeah. that performs, something like the true that performs. You know, just have a have a an overhaul. Still keep it high end. You know, use all the same materials, make it small mesto quality, but yeah, update it for for twenty nineteen. I agree. I completely agree. I do agree with that. Um, I mean, the the reason mine, well, yeah, I've been using this all day. <laughs> dry in there yeah and that's an that that was an even bigger slap in the face for me they actually called it the 2019 no yeah come on mm. but the re the reason mine doesn't drag e-liquid and, and gurgle in the airflow is uh, you probably can't remember mark but underneath the coil of mine where the air comes in that was a like a pyramid and mm -hmm. sharp at the top so any juice or condensation that did drip there fell away to the side and straight back it got like recycled. Recycled, yeah. So and that was why. But you're right. It's anyway. We're harped on enough. I I didn't want to last week. I I sort of held back a bit. I didn't want to look an idiot. Um, yeah, but listen, we're just talk, we're talking about what we're talking about, isn't it? I again. Careful, man. So, Mesto, just just bring it into 2019. Bring it up to date. Just give the careful an overhaul, and then call it the 2019. Don't don't rehash the same shite. What mm. clearly isn't working up to scratch. Well, that airflow is. Did they have they done that airflow before? I don't think they have. They? It's a, like a little nylon screw in the five. No. I Do you remember the? They... Um, was it the original careful light which had the ball bearing filling? <laughs> no, that was the. 
Um, I had one. It was the. I had one. <laughs> it was the two point one. The K Fun Mini had that, and the ball bearing with e liquid used to get stuck, and you oh had to you had to flush it out with like fairy liquid and let it soak. It was literally it. one of the worst designs we've ever had in vaping. Like a ball bearing, <laughs> just, just a single ball bearing. Which, oh come on, come on. Even Kieran, ABC, Dusty Fingers. D does Nature Vape have a shot? It's just online, Dusty Fingers. Uh, I haven't got a shot. Um, just online. I don't think you'd want me to have a shot. No one would want me to have a shot. Mark, the opening hours, I wouldn't be able to put them on the door. It would be like, no. I, I, my timekeeping is, in general life, awful. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is terrible, and I'll say it most. But yeah, I'll see about eleven o'clock, and I'm never there at eleven o'clock ever. <laughs> I, like, I, I often, I often think, you know, because like Chris owns Empire Vape, and he, he has to go to the shop every single day. I often think, what, what? If that was me, I'd just be late every day, mate. Mm. You know, I was supposed to open at nine. I'd be in bed at ten too. Like, oh, just have another hour. <laughs> just have another five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean that's self-employed. The, the the it's hard to keep your motivation. It's easy just to rest on your laurels when you're self-employed. And I was so, I was self-employed for about seven years as a painter. Uh, well, yeah, on Tracy, yeah, and that's that's when you have to put the hours in. You have to put. The, I was doing like twelve, thirteen hour days, then, and it was brutal, absolutely brutal. But you had to do it. Like I had young kids at the time. You actually do look a bit like the bloke on brush strokes, don't you? <laughs> See me, Lee. Not Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's an old program now, isn't it? Brush no, strokes. Yeah. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> I think I look more like, uh, and I've had this a couple of times. So, so somebody said to me a couple of years back, fucking hell, you look just like Jimmy Nail. <laughs> Jimmy Nail, <laughs> have you seen him? Oh, my God. It's funny how people, what people think we look like. Someone um, said I look like Simon Cowell once, and I thought, oh, I wish I had his money. I don't know about look like him. Although, would you? Would you want all that money? I don't know. How, uh, how high are your trousers, Mark? Are they well, on your waist? Or no, no, no. My trousers are fine. I don't, they aren't, they're not <laughs> up there. <laughs> I think it was, uh, it was something to do with my hair, because it sort of naturally like, had the same as him with the, the hair sort of growing into the middle. You know when that haircut was, was trendy, where people were gelling it up? Oh, there? yeah. I didn't have to try it. it was just, <laughs> just let mine dry. It's <laughs> wet. In the morning, it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I'm sorry. As I'm talking, I'm reading through chat and pick... I'm miles behind. I'm always miles behind. Uh, Neat Anubis said Scott Gottlieb resigns. Breaking news. Ooh, really? Ooh, to spend time with his family. Nothing to do with the... The stress and criticisms. That's interesting, though, isn't it? If, it, yeah. if that's true. Yeah. Not that I think it'll make much difference to uh, what's happening in America at the moment, but no. uh, it's one less uh, anti voice out there, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Well, that is breaking news, though, isn't it? And uh, I haven't. I, have I said, oh, I did say a bit of news tonight. BMW were talking about. Um, coming out of the UK as well, aren't we? Dear oh law, not producing minis here. You know why they're all they're all jumping ship because we can't get a pissing deal done. That's they're, they're, you know they're all panicking now, jumping ship, and um, we need to do something. We need to sort this out. It's like sharpish. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. All this no deal bollocks, and, and you know, we're, we're just in limbo at the moment, aren't we? We don't know what's what, we don't know what we're getting, what we're not getting. It's just we're in com complete limbo by a Prime Minister who's unelected. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Lisa said, There goes my childhood crush. Uh, I hope you don't mean Jimmy Nail, Lisa. <laughs> that man had well, a so face on radio. <laughs> um. <laughs> Producer Matt, Nature Vape, any idea when the mesh calls for the PAL will be in stock? N um, 
they've been on order for some time, but the Chinese have had their Chinese New Year. They're massively behind, and I had a big apology from EH Pro this morning to say that my order is going out tomorrow, which is quite a sizable one. So I'll get that possibly Friday, but more likely Monday of next week. And there's a lot of those coils in with that order as well. So yeah, go. I've only just started having emails this week, so they, they are mega behind. Um, they really they, are. They have like three weeks off, don't they? Three weeks. And the trouble is, they all go... I mean, China's a huge, huge place. And they they go to be like us going to work. I don't know. Everyone goes to work in London. People in Wales, people in Norfolk, everyone. And then in the holiday season, we all go back to Norfolk, back to Wales, back oh. to Scotland, everywhere. And you think, do you know what? Actually, I quite like it here. Now I'm not going back to work. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't go back. But it just wrecks their workforce. But... And a question from Michael Sherrington. Mar Marks, plural. Would you consider not only doing a tank, but also designing the mod it goes on too? And what would that be like? Oh, that's mm. a good question, isn't it? Absolutely. What would your mod look like, Mark? Mine would be... Obviously, be, uh, I'd want to make a dual 21700, I think. Um, it, it would have to be big, bold and brash for you. It would it? have to be big. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm not talking... We're not talking tight and big here. We're talking, you know, dual 21700, hold a 30mm, that'll do me 30mm top. Um, just, just, it just look cool as fuck, man. You know, some something along along the lines of maybe like the G class looks. Um, yeah, that's what I'd do. Maybe something like that. I would possibly be further the on the opposite end of that scale. Um, I've always liked the more sort of stealthy type, and I know with coils like you, Mark, like Mark, that is it's not going to work, is it? No. But, you know, I. I, I was going to say, I swing. <laughs> I, <laughs> That's for another show, that, Mark. I, I do, though, between direct lung and mouth to lung. And, and <clears throat> normally during the day, I'm mouth to lung all day long. And I'll come home at night, perhaps watching a film or, or whatever. And then I'll, I've got me direct lung, you know, beside me, perhaps, for a bit of that. Mm. So I still think that something mouth to lung and small it w would be nice i mean what we're talking like pico size yeah something like that i mean you know you know how much i like the the billet box and it's i'm a gadgety sort of person that's what i like and mm. you know but it would have i would want stylish really stylish little like Brush stainless steel, almost. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, yeah. I don't think mine would be mine would be gash or it, you know it wouldn't be no LEDs and all that bollocks. It, it would be I'd, I'd keep it classy looking, but the, flat, be, the fla flashing robot on the side. Yeah, sun. it would be a monster. It would be a monster. <laughs> uh, that's a good question, though. That Michael, thank you. Um, time. Oh my word! See, even Kieran agrees. Kieran, you're in chat. Uh, Kieran's a mouth to lung vapor. Uh, time for a new direction for the K fun, in my opinion. You've obviously been looking at the uh, the new light 2019 as well. So, you know, yeah, interesting that you think the same. And while you're on, Kieran, I've got to see if this works, Mark. I've just taken on uh, Ambition Mods. Have you heard of Ambition Mods? I have, yeah. You have? Yeah. Brilliant. I've taken on... Am I going to do this in the right order? Is it going to work? Hang on. There you go. It's a gate RTA. So I don't think you can see this, Mark. I'll see it on. The, is it on the stream? It will see on the stream. It will. You on like a fifteen second delay? I'll yeah, I'll it. see it on there. You'll see it in a little while. The gate RTA. It just intrigued me completely. They've got. There's a lot. I've only just added this to the site. You're frowning. Why are you frowning? <laughs> I'm frowning because it looks metal. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is you can't see me, I'm behind it. Um, it is, but it's they've got an adapter for the 510 to reduce the airflow. It's a, a bit like the speaker, I suppose. Mm. 
uh, but from underneath and also either slits or a slit or dots for the airflow so there's, there's a lot of multi-changing parts to that and there's a another picture here oh no it looks like uh, it's obviously a top fill in it it looks i've got the wrong picture that one no i've got the wrong picture <laughs> There's more pictures going on there than enough. Uh, sorry, folks. I've got me pictures in a muddle. Right. Oh, that's some looking at here. That's yeah. That's um. That's a coiling tool. Oh, it, sorry, I flicked. You'll see something else in a second. I'll come back to that. Um, that's something they're doing as well. But this is that's just a picture of the deck. So the coiling tool. Let's take him off where are we where are we you can tell i'm well versed at this can't you yeah the, de the deck looks it just looks boring doesn't it? i mean it's not this this oh. is the <laughs> we'll see i'm looking forward to trying it i've done a lot yeah of... i mean I, listen it might be amazing but look just looking at it like they, they've not they've not fucking smashed any new ground there have they really well it, it will take um it will take like a Clacton coil and or a round wire. I, I think I've done a lot of sort of research on that, and I think let's let's wait. Let's wait till it arrives. It's on yeah. its way. And same I, think the I think the trouble is, Mark, we've had so many good single coil uh, RTAs in the last few months that we have. Yeah, it's gonna t it's gonna you know it's got to be something special to to stack up. Yeah. <laughs> what you can see on the screen now, Mark, is same company, that, and this is a coiling tool. Um, but at one end, this looks a nice bit of kit. They did like an animated video, which I should have probably put on here. And there's coil rods one end, and all your Phillips and your flat heads and your hex heads up the other yeah, end. Yeah, that top bit's intriguing me. What's all that about? I think that is just to put it on like a key ring. I think it's all right. literally okay. no, no more than that. But the in the middle is where you build your coil. So you can see where you'd spin your coil. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. So that's coming too. So and you'll uh, you'll get a sample of that, Mark. So um, hopefully, you... interesting. Yeah, I mean, yeah. listen, I'm I'm up for trying anything, mate. I'm looking but... for different, and I'm looking. I don't follow the pack. You know that. I, that's not what I like to do. I like. That's why probably I tend to deal with the smaller companies that have done something different, and that's yeah. Well, why I'd I do like to everyone do. else and stock the same old shite all the time. It's like it just gets boring, doesn't it? Be it does. And be and stock stuff that no one else is, has heard of, or yeah. yeah. And so that that was really because Kieran was in chat. I just thought I'd show that. So if you're interested, Kieran, they are coming. And because I mean, because I mean, together we found a few gems, aren't we? Like we have, we have found a few gems along the way. Yeah, uh, it all started with a helixer, I think. Oh, that tank, man! <laughs> <laughs> I love that thing. Mm. I absolutely adored that tank. Tina still uses it. That's... Vic still uses his. Yeah. Yeah, it's the most underrated tank ever, and that was, um, yeah, that was. I mean, it got some bad press at the start, and you know, well, it had a couple of bad reviews, didn't it? Like, yeah, um, I forget, was it? It was. Was it Ambitions of Air or someone like that reviewed it, and he said it was junk. It was like just garbage. Building on it was, but listen, if everything was the same, wouldn't it be a boring world, Mark? But I think that probably said more about him, you know, with his build, yeah, because. I, the flavour out of that thing was amazing. All right, it took five or ten minutes longer to build than it would, you know, um, the Zeus X or something like that. But my mm. God, was it worth it? Just yeah. put that little bit of extra effort in, and you got an amazing vert from it. Um, yeah, it was top drawer in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. I'm still. <laughs> God, how far am I behind with this chat? I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. <laughs> Is this all a bit slow for you, Mark? <laughs> You're a mile behind, Mike. <laughs> you what? You're a mile behind. Am I? Oh, uh, well. <laughs> no, you're all right. <laughs> uh, Dusty Fingers, the Aspire Dynamo is dual 21700, takes that is over 30 millimeters, sent in 510, hardly no one reviews on it and no one mentions it. Why? That's pretty simple to answer that because Aspire send very, very little review samples, so though. They do. Yeah, I haven't even seen one. They're, they're quite selective who they send to, aren't they? Oh, very, very, very selective. Yeah. Um, I don't even think Vic reviews for Aspire anymore. 
Look at Kieran, look, I've got that tool on order, Mark. See, you go out of your way, you find the best stuff you can, he's already, he's gazumped me somewhere else. Kieran. Well, oh, someone's, are, someone's reviewed it, Mark. Fergan did a, a video on that tool today. Did he? Someone just said in chat, yeah. Oh, right. Who said, who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Can you see? Who? Ah, who? A T Bisco? T Bisco. T Bisco. Well, T Bisco, hopefully it was a good review because yeah, it looks a lovely bit of kit to me. And we've got, we've got a K Fun. Still to this day, my three favourite methods are K Fun Mini, K Fun 5, and Prime. Bols, Bolsonic? That, that's fine. That's. that's that's what we were saying earlier, really, about we all like different things. And I'm not here to undermine K-Fun or, or knock them or anything else. I'm just, I'm giving you, I mean, look at me, I'm vaping it now, so I obviously enjoy it. But I'm giving you my findings, and I think, oh. they, I think they could have done better. That's what I'm uh, saying. The K-Fun 5, now, I must have vaped on that for about 10 months, uh, and that was the one with the million parts, and it literally brought down into like 26 different pieces, the most ridiculously over-engineered tank of all time. Right. Uh, but the vape on it was astonishing, really, really good. Um, but again, going back to the old careful machines, very, very finicky. If you didn't wick it absolutely spot on, it just no forgiveness whatsoever. It would leak, it would gurgle. Yeah. Seamus, have you ever got a mech mod called the Hades mech mod 26650? That would be nice if it was stacked. stacked. <laughs> I've got the Hades. Um, where is it? It's in the other room. I've got, the, in fact, I've got a couple of them. But... No, I'm not on live chat. Thank you. I'm on top chat. What a dick. <laughs> uh, yes, balls. That was the careful V4. Thank you for pointing that out. It was the V4. Um, I think I had about four of them. You see, so you, I mean, you've gone away from. Well, you still do the odd mouth to lung. I mean, I've seen you, you know, on, on your on your show, your mouth to lung. You swap it about a bit, don't you? But you're mainly direct lung now, aren't you? Yeah, mate? not not as often as um, yeah. I mean, I do motor lung from time to time, but it's not it's not my preferred vaping style. Um, yeah, I think if I'm you know if I'm if I'm on a night out or something like that, I would probably prefer to take out a motor lung with me. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not something I, I can do um, over a prolonged period of time. <laughs> I blame Mark for his review on K Fun clones. He's talking about you, I reckon. Mark. Yeah, I did, I did quite a few back in the day. <laughs> do you know these do always scare me as well, K Funs? As, uh, you know, doing the clones, reviewing the clones, because, like I say, like, that K Fun B4 had so many bits to it, and it's like trying to remember where every little bit went and every O ring was yeah. just ridiculous. Well, I remember the K Fun Mini, and that, that was a. I, on its, when it was right, it was brilliant. And you'd take it out, you'd be like, oh, I don't get any better than this. And you'd unscrew the top to fill it up, and the O ring would pull off, and it would just gush everywhere. And I'm like, you, you little cow. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, but it was it, in the early days, Mark, and, uh, you know, a lot of people in chat will know this, and some won't. It was frustrating as hell, wasn't it? What was oh that other god. tank that I had? Oh there? my god. That was a Tafun GS. Do you remember that? Oh. <laughs> Where you dropped. You, the old you, typhoon. Yeah, you drop the steel rope down the down the holes. Yeah. That thing, that vape really well indoors. You took the dogs for a walk and it just, you just had a wet pocket. It just gushed. Yeah. <laughs> it's like something to do yeah, with Yeah, so many, so many leaking issues and flooding issues back then. It was just, but, you know, like you say, once you got something right and you'd sit back in your chair and you'd be like, vaping can't get any better than this. This is like the pinnacle. We, yeah. We've reached the fucking maximum we can ever get from vaping. <laughs> I'm going to get a pipe for this. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> Nature Vape. How is the vape on the 2009 K-Fun? Is it worth the headache? Um, yeah, I think we've, we've discussed... I don't know if you saw the, this, us talking about it earlier, Corgeth. Um, is it worth it? It's up to the individual, really. It vapes well, but if you are permanently like, to me... I'm quite a finicky person. I can't stand e-liquid on my fingers or anything. I just oh, oh, it wow. drives me Thank mad. You. Thank you. It does. It, 
it, it just... you know, everybody says to me, right, as a vapor, you should get used to like having any liquid. No, I can't stand it. It makes me like oh, I just I hate it. I've got to get. Yeah. I have paper towels here permanently, where yeah. I'm just wiping my ass constantly, <laughs> wiping my desk, wiping my tanks. I hate it. Yeah, I can't stand it, and I don't see now really the the industry has been going long enough. I don't see now why you should have you know he liquid on your fingers anymore you know? well look at this look at this the zeus x right i could i could literally just this this thing will never leak this will never put juice on top of my tank it won't leak on me i won't no. get juicy fingers even even doing the top fill that's what that's yeah yes and and obviously as a as a retailer i welcome that as well because most of the mods i get sent back to me I mean, I've had <laughs> Mark, and I've, he's said about it, this is crap, it don't work. You get a little note, sometimes you don't even get a note. But And I turn it upside down and I, I look, click the fire button and I've got juice all over me. Thumb. Oh, my God, yeah. And you think, well, that's, that's not the mod's fault. You know, you can't, can't blame it for that. It's soaked in juice. Well, the thing is what a lot of numpties do, they'll, they'll maybe, you know, like get a squonk mod and like just squonk and squonk it and over squonk it and then it all pisses out into the five turning in the button and down the board and then they're like, this mod shit. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shane Foster, when will the coil tool be in stock? It will be next week. Um, definitely next week. It's quite, I've got a lot of stuff coming from Ambition Mods. They... They did, a, and you're going to be bored with this as well, Mark. They did a thing called a spiral. Uh, was it a spiral? A little mouth to lung dripper, um, which. Um, oh, what's his name? Salford. He loved it. Absolutely loved See, it. See, that's, that's more my bag. I did. Um, I've had the the Vertfly one, the Galaxy's mouth to lung dripper. Right. Uh, I've had the Digiflavor did one as well, the Etna, which was uh, a cracking little uh, drink, right. a little, tiny little mouth lung thing, and that, that's more my bag. I, I love stuff like that. Get, no, get it on a Squonker single 18650. Oh, look at that on your, on, your, on your new U well with all that juice. You, yeah. you, go, you can oh go away God. for the week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, remember, Mark, this is from Balsonic as well. Remember the leaky boat a Ahem, the tugboat? Oh, the tugboat. Good grief. And Dusty Fingers is one for you, Mark. I'm looking for a silky smooth vape at 35 watts. Any recommendations, TVP? Right there, son. <laughs> really? <laughs> is that a joke I know nothing about? Well, it's like, it's, it's a bit of a catchphrase of mine. Like, somebody found a really old video of mine from like three years ago. Uh, and I was doing this juice, and apparently I said, uh, "Oh, this is like just silky smooth at thirty-five watts." And right. like someone, someone grabbed onto that, and that's yeah. Right. I get so, a lot of shit for it now. I didn't know that one. Thanks for that, Dusty Fingers, for bringing out the worst on him when he's been so well behaved. <laughs> I know. You know, I'm doing really well. <laughs> um, nature. I mean, any news on your juice? Uh, yeah, Iggy Mitchell, let's put that one up. Iggy, there is some news on the juice. Um, I've managed to source now some nice PG and VG, which is on the site in 500ml bottles. Um, nicotine headshots at 20mg, 100% VG, which that works, Mark. Uh, yeah, I think you, you commented on one show, didn't you, that, you know, just... You know, of how to do it. The problem mm. was a lot of people can't get the hands on now seventy two milligram small Nick shots. Yeah. I um, I mean I or Nick. But I detest, I detest these Nick shots. I know I know it's something we have to suffer and we have to put up with it, but um I make me on now. I bought some uh seventy two milligram nicotine and I just mix up a hundred mil yeah. Nick if you, shots. If you can get it, it and they'll, su they'll supply you. Fantastic, and I think a lot of people are supplying it, uh, but they say it's for for like business use only. But um, well, I have no idea how to get around it, Mark, because it's it's still um, illegal. <laughs> well, it is, it is, but but there's, there's, there's companies out there still selling it, so you know, and all them all them people who panic bought nicotine as well. I know, I know, it's one of them. <laughs> but hey, there was some there was some people in my group spending five hundred pound on on stocking up on nicotine. And it's Good like. God. We've never been able to not buy it. Yeah, no, it's it's still 
still a book, but I don't know either. But and on concentrates, Iggy, I've got some other news which it's not well. It is finalised. I had I was going to do not nom noms, Mark. Have you heard of nom noms? And I, I, I mixed up some. Uh, God, it's gone dark now, isn't it? Lovely. Look at that chrome on glow. It's gone really dark. And that's my one. That's not the one. Where's the other one? The the non bongo. You can see how much I like that. There's, <laughs> there's not a lot left, and that's what's in in here. But I don't know. I put an order through, quite a decent order, and going to stock it on the site, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and he's never got back to me. He said, "Tell me what no. you want. I'll send you an invoice, pay it, and we'll send it." And he didn't go back to me. But I have got, which amazes me in this day and age, but I've had another company, someone I know well, and a big, ju big juice company, a well-known juice company, and a very respected one, who's going to come out with some concentrates just for me. So I'm looking forward to that. So more news on that another time, but I th I'm quite optimistic. I think that's answered that, Mark. That's a long Yeah, well, there's, there's, pl there's plenty of... Um... There's plenty of one-shot companies out there. You know, you can look into, like, you know, Drip Axe, Flavor Boss, all them. Um, you know, pe people people seem to love them and rave about them, so... Yeah, yeah. But it's... Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to this because they're flavors that I've asked him to do. Um, and it's... it's <sighs> Although they make short fills at the minute and they make, you know, juice, they, they're not doing concentrates, so it's a little bit of a break in... Mm. How can I put this? They're prepared to help me to get them in that direction as well. So they're they're not actually they're probably going to lose money to do it to help me if, if that makes sense. But it's going to be mutually beneficial, hopefully, to both of us. I think the thing the thing is as well, Mark, is um, a lot of people, a lot of vapors, get fed up with um, you know buying into the premium juice hype. Yeah. Yeah. Spending twenty twenty five quid a bottle and it's just you know it's it ends up not being what they were expecting. We've all been there. Yeah, yeah, we have. Oh, the, there was one day Tina and I went out. I said, do you know, what? I'm just going to. There was a vape shop. I said, I'm going to buy a bottle of juice. I said, do you want one? I said, well, we'll buy something we like the look of. And um, we both bought a fifteen quid bottle of juice each. And we got home and tried it. All. That's crap. Yeah, absolute garbage. Uh, I've got a question here from Switch My Wicks. Have you any idea when the Just Jam concentrates might be out? They're out now on Evolution Vaping. I bought five. Are they? Yeah. Um, where is it? Bugger. There it is. Yeah, the Just Jam concentrates. Um, they're only doing it with 30 mils though, and it's £10 for 30 mil, and you have to mix it at 20%, so you're only going to get 150 mils, but still for a tenner, it's when you think just jams 20 quid a bottle mm. for 100 mil. Yeah, yeah. Corgoth, uh, Nature Vape, the reason I asked was, the, was the vape good enough to override the flaws? <laughs> I thought they were going to sponsor you by now, Mark, they ought to, you've plugged them enough. Do you know I asked them? Yeah. Uh, I did ask them, and they knocked me back. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's, that's amazing as well, really, isn't it? <laughs> well, it, it, considering the, you know, the the, plug, the plugs that I gave them and, and the amount, of, it's literally all I've heard. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it is, um, but that's what it is, isn't I'm it? I'm a little astounded at that. Is I, uh, and Coy, still use the K-Fun Light Plus as my main vape. <laughs> Fiddling with a tiny screw to refill is annoying as, as all go. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that was... That's quite old now, so we can't have them for that really. But the remember the little Phillips screw mark underneath yeah. the, that you had to unscrew to fill it. Oh, oh my god, yeah. A needle cap bottle. So uh Bolsonic has got to run. Uh have an amazing show. Thanks, Bolsonic Bolsonic. Um Good God. I'm, oh no, I'm not that bad. I keep thinking I'm miles and miles behind. No, you're not that far behind, mate. You're all right. Best there, uh, Zoe Zoe. Puddle. Puddle? Puddle. Yeah, it's not an eye, is it? I think I need my glasses changed, you know. And they're very vocal, so I tend to go like this and... <laughs> it just makes me look weird. But, uh, so, best mouth-to-lung dripper for a squonker. I've got a single top side coming. Currently using a Vapefly Galaxies, but need a black or purple one to match my top side. Well, oh. black should be quite easy. Um... 
Yeah, the, the Galaxy is doing it. Doing it, Blaver. And if you're happy with the Galaxy, just get a black one. Yeah. Um, there's not there's not a plethora of uh, motor lung drippers out there. There's only a handful um, of them. I know uh, Geekvert did one, didn't they? What was that called? The Amit. Uh, the Amit motor lung RDA, yeah, which is was very very good. Um, yeah. Van Vandevert did one. What was that called? What what's the little motor lung tank? Oh called? yeah, they did the. Yeah, well. We've got them. Um, well, it was the Van de Vert, uh RDA Mini, wasn't it, or something? Yeah, I can't. I, I yeah. forget the name now. But there's that one. Um, and I'm pretty well, sure the Berserker. The, Berserker, Berserker, yeah, the yeah. Berserker motor yeah. lung RDA, which really really good and they'll do a few colors as well so yeah just um that's what i recommend yeah and that had a lot of alternatives with the slidey through it did yeah that that was uh that was a very that was in in the in the innovative i got quite there innovative yeah quite innovative <laughs> and it, it was you know it had a lot of options on it so I, yeah i'd probably say the berserker was very very good and you probably get it in purple to be honest because they do because they're such, such a big company they'll do it in different colors and shit won't they <laughs> Eat my beaver, eat my beaver, eat my beaver. I'll get my worms in the middle tonight, aren't I? Uh, he's got two and a half litres of seventy-two percent nick in the freezer in case he couldn't get it. So, <laughs> yeah, I think I think Mark, a lot of us suffered from that. Um, I was on just as a, a jovial side. I was on a show the other night. I've been loading products on the site. And it was about midnight, and I think it was um, Aiden. And oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, who else was on there? God, Aiden, I think it might have been Salford as well. And, and I'll just put like Aiden and Gents, Late and Parade, which I often am. I, I tend to visit live shows when I've, I'm catching a break from doing something just as a chill, just to, you know. To, yeah, when to you've work. done what you've got to do. And then yeah. Because yeah. I mean, I do work hard, Mark. I work a lot of hours. but I know um, you do, mate. Yeah, but Aiden was saying about me flashing the, the the writing on the screen, which was quite funny. I told him if if I told him I'd have to kill him, how I did it, yeah. he didn't know how I did it. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, it's, that is pretty cool. You know, you get the questions on so quick. Uh, you'll have to let me into your secret. Though, it, well, it's I. It's part of the software, Mark, and it's oh, is it? it's for Mac. So mm. you know it. And, <laughs> well, exactly. So you know, <laughs> because I'm old and and I'm not. You know, Mac makes it easy for old people, I think. <laughs> I think, yeah, correct. Um, I think that's why a lot of the older generations like go into for Macs and like Apple stuff because it's just very, very simple to use, aren't yeah. they? You can't, you can't really mess it up, can you? And I, I no. think, you know, and I think that that's only <laughs> it suits me. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but it's part of the software, and it's it's a great bit of software. I have to say, it's good. Uh, Notice he's not telling anyone what it's called, though. No, it's Ecamm Live. I'm not, oh, I'm not, not going to hide it. But it, when I got it, it was like an amount of money to have. Oh. But now it's a monthly subscription, which is nearly what I paid for a free lifetime membership or, you know, for the one-off payment uh, a month. Yeah. So. Uh, Mr. Mr. McGee. <laughs> Why couldn't I read Mr. McGee? Uh, the probably don't need to sponsor anyone after all the business you've sent their Correct. way, Mark. Yeah, I mean, you have, haven't you? It, for, and it hasn't been like a, a six-month fad. You've been saying it for months and months and months, haven't you? Oh, I've been on that. I found this juice about almost two years ago now, about 20 months ago, and yeah. I've been on it ever since. Mm. Uh, I just love the store. Even Becca vapes it now all day, every day. I've I've tried it. I've used it. Um, yeah, it's, it's all right. It's, but it's, you know, it's not, it's not my favourite. But oh. it's, I'd quite if if it was all there was ever made, I'd be very happy to vape it. It's good juice. Oh, a yeah. few people say that, but listen, we're all we all have different. Um, well, different said, strokes for different folks, isn't it? Exactly. I mean, I've my my tastes. <laughs> I could have the same thing to eat every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, <laughs> and like my. The sandwiches, if I go out to work with it, it's cheese and ham. And so if I feel like a variation is ham and cheese, you know, <laughs> it's, it's just what I do. You know, I, I, I'm i very... You know, Regimental. Yeah, I mean, predictable. <laughs> uh, and Kieran says that the Berserker was good. You can change the inserts in the 
in the yeah in the, in the very very good. Um, here we go. Here's a question from Rob Clark. What's your favourite f- fruit flavour that that's not a dessert, jam or custard? So uh, mine's mine's easy. It's the black vine from the Rockford project, and it is a uh, black grape. Um, no, he won't say what's in it, but it's like a black grape. I'm going to say it's got a bit of strawberry in there, um, some other berries. Very, very nice. Right. Mm. But it smells like cat piss when you're there. Yeah, I heard you saying that on, on, on the Eco Vape show. Mine at the minute, this fruit one is, that's the non, that I've said, non bongo, and that's, oh God. What is it? It's peach. Peach? Mango and p- 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 papaya. <laughs> p- p- papaya. I always struggle with that one. <laughs> I haven't got a stutter, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that sounds nice. I mean, I've, I've got the black vine in this squonker at the moment, and uh, yeah, I really, really like it. But it's a bit of a, um, a bit of a wick killer. Yeah, I mean, the um, that's quite a sweet juice, isn't it? The not that one, the Just Jam, that was quite sweet from what I remember. That's quite sweet, but there's not a lot of artificial sweetener in Like, I don't I don't find myself re-wicking all that often, which is another plus uh, with the Just Jam. Right. I used to rate the scone, the raspberry scone, and that was, um, I had to re-wick every two days and it just got too much. That's yeah. why I, that's why I ended up going on to this, just the straight raspberry. Right. And Tolmac says, Iggy, no problem. Look up the Sheket range for bottle shots. I, I don't think I've ever seen them. Yeah, the juice cabin, less picking. Ah, right. I did get. What did I do with them? Oh, there. <laughs> Focus. Thank you. I got these sent the other day. Uh, bacon, bacon vape, million shortcake. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't tried any of these yet, actually. Uh, Cookie dough, cinnamon and cream. Oop, turn it the right way. I don't know what this range is like, Mark. Salted caramel fudge donut. Would that suit you? I don't know. And rice crispy treats and vanilla ice cream. So on have, this... you ever, have you ever tried um, Chrissy's custard, killer custard? Well, I'm sh- I'm soon to. I. Chris has been threatening to send it for about six weeks and he did say was it yesterday or the day before he's finally sent it so I'm optimistic with the postman tomorrow uh, I will have it oh get don't, don't now what I would say is don't be like wasting it in a tank that is a dripper juice that the, the killer oh. custard is definitely put it in a squonker a dripper or something like that it's I'll beautiful I'll try that then I'll try that <coughs> I think I've pretty much caught up. I've no more. I don't think I've. Uh, there's nothing. Um, Daniel has put. He prefers the Wismix strawberry jam. Uh, and this, this, I mean, its juices are so, you know, independent of. What oh you... yeah, the, there's another one as well. I like uh, the Vapors Dozen do it, and it's uh, an app. It's an apple jam. It's like a Granny Smith apple or jam flavor, and it's absolutely glorious. Delicious mm. stuff. Uh, but it's it's not something I could vape. Um, I couldn't make it me all day vape if that makes sense. You know, I just right. like I, I can rip on it for a few hours a week and something like that, and it's delicious. But I always go back to me just yet. And did I send you a little bottle of the Manor Bush with that the True Tank all those months ago? Now you did, yeah. I've had I've had Manor Bush before many many times. Okay. Uh, yeah. I do like good this. stuff. Yeah, I do good like stuff. They they're known for the tobacco flavors, aren't they? Everything well. Pretty much everything they do has got that hint of tobacco in the background, even if it isn't tobacco itself. They tend to to blend with that, don't they? Yeah, I mean, if you like uh, motor lung vaping, then Manabush has got to be on your hit list to try. You got to try it, haven't you? Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> even, even if you think, if you're one of them guys that think, oh, tobacco, no, but it's not. It's not tobacco in the sense of that you think it's tobacco. It's like. You know, like your RY4s, it's made with toffee, caramel, mm, stuff yeah. like that. It's just delicious yeah. with that hint of tobacco in the back. It is, it's like, um, like coffee and I've got the dog, the dog just come through to see me. <laughs> I wondered what that was. 
<laughs> oh, bless him. <laughs> he does like to make a little appearance. Just say hello. Uh, Nature Vape and TVP, what's your thoughts on the Watofo profile Unity? That's the new RTA coming out. Well, we did talk about that earlier, didn't we? Um, yeah. I'm really excited for it. I don't think you've seen it, have you, Mark? I haven't. No. No, I haven't. Check my Instagram. I put a video on there, um, like a little presentation video on it. Of what I just retweeted what we're talking about, but, but uh, it just shows you how it wicks and stuff like that and where the juice sits. Yeah, I, I think it looks very, very interesting. Listen, whether it's going to wick efficiently, um, I don't know. I can't. Do you know what? I just can't see it because it's the exact same de deck as the profile RDA. Um, whether they've worked out this juice situation correctly uh, that's that's anyone's guessing it we're, we're just gonna have to get it in our hands to try it and see but yeah. i think for people who chain vape and chain vape a lot is it gonna you know is it gonna is it gonna keep up is it gonna wick efficiently you know mm, yeah well a lot of these things i'll i'll buy one uh i mean there's i've got stuff here i didn't actually buy these i've got the haven't tried it yet the vape Vapeem Muse RDA. You won't need to buy one, Mark, because Watofo normally send me about four, so I'll send you one. They never, I never get sent anything by Watofo ever. I'll um, send you one. You're a top man, thank you, Mark. They all, they always send me three or four, so. Do they? Yeah, Fat I'll send you the rainbow one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, pal. <laughs> it's, it's a bit like I mean, Umia sent me the gold oh, bombers, no. and it's just. I hate gold. I, do, I really don't like gold. It's too blingy for me. I'll tell you what else I haven't tried yet, which these are all things sitting around waiting to be... The cube mouth to lunk it. I haven't tried that tank yet. That's very good. Still on its cellophane, look. It's decent. Um, is it? That's top airflow, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I haven't tried that yet. And it, <laughs> as, a, as a by the by, you know when... I mean, your camera work, Mark, I've said to you before, I'm trying to get this thing. Why have I gone out of focus? Oh, there you go. I'm back, there you go. back in the room. Your camera work, I mean, it, it, I've always been, I think a lot of people have been envious of your camera work, you smug git. But... No, thank you. <laughs> no, it's, it. I don't know, I don't know how you do it, but I've got the same Manfrotto stand, the same camera, probably the same lens. But well, it's not. It, the thing is, it's not easy. It's awkward. I'll, I'll say that it's awkward because so I've got my camera there, yeah. like literally there on my chest, um, on a on a on an arm, and I'm I'm wicking You're around working it. Like, so it's, behind it. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's awkward. Yeah. But it, yeah. The, the final result is. I think it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. It's, it is. It is stunning. You can work, but I was with the close-ups. I was looking at a a mat, and I've often seen like Vic as well. I've seen other people, and I I bought this thing that I thought that will do without the white lacy bit around it. And I thought, I wonder if I can <laughs> cut out one of my Nature Eight mats, building mats. I just mm -hmm. cut cut the Nature Eight. Out and have, yeah. and have that down there, <laughs> and then and then I turned it over, and I thought, now I know what the black mat is that everyone uses. They've, they've turned this upside down. That's all they've done, isn't it? If you if no, you... I I just bought a black mouse mat. I just <laughs> I, so I used to have I used to have like a TVP custom made one I got from like America, and the trouble with that is because I used to have autofocus on, it would focus on the mat and not the product I was reviewing. Yeah, and yeah. like I used to have so many arguments with my camera, like we, like while while I was recording, it got yeah. to the point where it was just like a running joke. <laughs> um, so I, I, then I tried a white background, uh, weren't really keen on that. I just like black now, yeah. plain black. Yeah, it is. It is hard to pick a color to you know to go against uh, to get it, and it depends what color the tank is as well and. You know, I obviously get the choice very often. Do I use a black one or a stainless steel one? And I usually find stainless steel actually comes. Yeah, out. never use. I, I used to say to companies all the time, please, whatever you do, uh, if you're just going to send one, don't send a black one because it just doesn't show up enough on camera. Unless you've got like a pristine white background, which not a lot of reviewers use, just a white background. It's very, very difficult to get 
the finer details of the tank, the knurling, stuff like that. Yeah. You know, the screws, it's just very difficult to show up on camera. So if you're sending one, send a stainless steel one. And Tolmac says, uh, <coughs> here's, here's a question for both men. I'd better put it on the screen, hadn't I? So I wouldn't see it. Um, do you see DIY becoming more available in bricks and mortar stores here in the UK? Well, Les is doing it, isn't he? I think he's. I think he's. Um, he's the exception to the rule. I, I can't see it personally because, listen, the majority of money these B and M's make uh, is from juice. Make no mistake about it. The markup is on e liquid, so <clears throat> I can't see it personally. Unless they start off like Les as a DIY company, which Les has always been. No, I can't. I just can't see it. He did a review for me in the early days, Les did, and I, I think, what did I send him? It's one of my little pro coils, I think, and, and he was like, right, he said, we've got this at 20 watts. He said, let's pump it up a bit. <laughs> oh, God, no. Oh, no. <laughs> He was he was back in the day. He was mental when he used to dress up and yeah, like, Goldilocks yeah. and <laughs> that that little boy with the freckles. <laughs> Can you imagine him doing that now? Like the the, the furore it would cause him dressing up as a little boy of Herpin. Yeah. Even though it's you know it's humour, it's funny. It's, it's, it's part it's, of it's, part of his humour, isn't it? It's Les, but like people would kick off about it, would you? Well, you're acting like a child while you're Herpin. <laughs> And obviously, uh, do you know Stuart? That's the super lens that he sent you. I do, yes. Yeah, he yeah. um, saw my DSLR lens uh, crapped itself, and Stuart was kind enough to send me another one, which I'm still using now. But for the build sections, I don't use the DSLR. I use a camcorder, a dedicated camcorder. Right. I've uh, a friend of mine lent me his camcorder actually, and you know I've been using that as well myself lately. Mm. I still use the DSLRs for like the unboxings, showing around the tank, but the, the, the build sections are always the camcorder. Yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, camcorders have actually got a terrific zoom, haven't they, when you... Oh, they've got a terrific zoom, and they've got a terrific auto, if you use autofocus, uh, yeah. they focus much better than, say, DSLR or, or yeah. anything on the market, because it's actually a dedicated video camera. It will yeah. focus so much quicker and clearer. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, evening TBD. He's coming for a sw <laughs> he's swinging by apparently. Hello and gone, I think. <laughs> Switch my wicks. Uh, I review the table cam stuff on the pool table. So yeah, she um, she reviews in a pub, which is awesome. Oh right. I don't know if I've seen any of Switch my wicks. I... No, she's quite new. She's quite um, she's quite new, but. I've seen a couple of her videos, and she's she's pretty decent, actually. Pretty right. decent. Yeah. Well, I'll make sure to have a have a look. Uh, I think we're on down at the bottom mark of all, all, all my questions, which is which is. You don't, see, you don't see a lot of lady reviewers these stick out, like you know, female reviewers. You don't. You got, you got the big ones in America, Tia and and Zofi and um, Graham Greens Bird. What's what's she called? Yeah, I know. I can't remember her name, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you, like in the UK, we was like last year we had a couple, didn't we? Two or three, and they just vanished. Yeah, yeah. We, well, there's Jules. Um, we got Jules. Yeah, Jules is. Uh, Jules she's is still regular. She's a mainstay. <laughs> she she is a mainstay. Yeah, she's she's going to be here for yeah. But you're right. There's there's not there's not many. Um, I don't know why that would be. Really, I think there should be more. I just think it's all saturated now when it comes to reviews. I never started off to want to be a, like a reviewer, and I'm, I still don't class myself as one. You was more of a you was more of a technical aid. Is that even? It, well, no, you're right. You're spot on. It was yeah, because yeah. it was because the instructions were so poor, if there indeed even was any, with the early products. So I thought, and I had so many customers. I was replying to emails all the time about what you're doing wrong is this, what you're doing wrong is this. Try doing this. Try doing that. And I thought, if I can just do a video to say you've bought this product, whatever it was, and this is how you've bought it now, this is how you put it together and put a wick in it, etc., then that will stop all these emails. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I, I found you from Marty Parker. Um, yeah, the old Marty the old did. Pro, coil, pro coils. Um, that's, where I, that's where I found out about Mark and Nature of Yeah. From the, oh, those pro cores, and obviously we still sell them. 
<laughs> uh, do you know I'm absolutely amazed at that? Absolutely amazed mm. that they still actually sell, but you know nothing surprises me anymore. I mean, Vape Shop still sells CE4, so. <laughs> well, yeah, that's unbelievable. That's that's even more, by far more unbelievable, really. But no, the, um, people. Well, going back to my ham and cheese sandwiches, if they've bought my coils for the last three years, they like what they like, and if they well, if they, if they work for that, if it works for that person and that person, yeah. you know, that, like like me when we just jam, like you eat sandwiches. If you, <laughs> if, if you stick with something, you stick with something, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I don't like change, Ming Mark. <laughs> Are you the same? You don't like change. Either? I don't like change. I like I like some stability, some normality. <laughs> just keep the routine. <clears throat> well, as I say, I think I've got to the bottom now. What is the time mark? This is normally for an hour. It says Good 10 past God. 10. It's already an hour and 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. So you've got work in the morning. Posties start early. But um, I think what we'll do, what's the time? Do you want to wrap up court past another three minutes? Yeah, yeah. mate. Whatever, yeah. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't want to make you late in the morning. Get you told off. Oh, yeah. I don't want to go to bed till... Uh... Half eleven midnight, anyway. So don't it? And nah. What time do you start? It depends, because obviously I've dropped a few hours now. It depends. Um, sometimes I'm in early. Sometimes I'm in half seven, eight, six. Just depends. What, whatever they need me for, Mark. Six. There's two of them in a day. There is two of them in a day. <laughs> Good I normally see the AM before the PM uh, <laughs> more than the PM because. What I'll do, I'll get in, have a sandwich and, and get on the couch and I'll think, I'll just shut my eyes for 10 minutes. I'll just have 10. <laughs> Before you know it, it's 7pm. <laughs> well, there's been a lot of times that I've, um, as I said to you, I watch your Saturday show on a Sunday and the amount of times Mike has said, he's not here yet, he's not here yet. And you're, sorry for the sleep on it now. <laughs> Lunchtime beer, that's always bad. But, uh, yeah, and so what, have you got anything coming, are you, Doing any r reviews in the near future, or or why don't yeah, you tell got, me what's um, what's new? <laughs> what you've got? No, I've new. got. I've, I've definitely got. Um, well, I've got two reviews coming up this week. One is the Lux Nano from Vaporasso, uh, and I'm going to do two Wiz Wizmet mods in one, the new Sinuous V200, and, and a single battery. I've got to get them done this week because they are on me like a tramp on chips. So, oh, um, yeah, I have to get them done this week. But I like to take things at my own pace, though, Mark. I, I can't blame you for that. And there have been times, even for me, and I, th I think I must do this review. And I think, why must I do this review? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, I, and... yeah. I don't owe anyone anything. I don't owe companies anything. Um, it, it is what it is. Yeah, I'll do it when I do it. And that, that's like the pressure I used to be under, mm. uh, you know, 12, 18 months ago was immense, ridiculous. I'd get him from work, I, you know, I I'd, I'd obviously lived with me, with my son back then, I'd, I'd have to do stuff with him, sort him out, pick him up from school, eat, then yeah. videos, editing, videos, editing, it was like just constant non-stop, you know, I'd sit at the desk sometime for six, seven hours and think, what am I doing with my life here, what is yeah. this? <laughs> but you saw, for, I for suppose, what? For what? I, I know, it is for what, I, but I, I think sometimes you... You're like me, I, I, I'm very sort of tunnel visioned in a way that if I do something, I, I'd rather not do it than do it half-heartedly. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, you know, if I'm if I going to do something, I'll put my heart and soul into it and that, yeah. that's just how I am and I think you're pretty much the same. Like that's that. the thing though, I still enjoy it. I still I still really, really enjoy it when I do it. Once I knuckle down and do it, I love it. But, but I don't think I would enjoy it, Mark, if I had to do five a week. No, I couldn't do it. I couldn't handle that pressure. I'd, I'd just, I crumble. I, I enjoy it when I do, like I do, perhaps one a week, one a fortnight, perhaps, and then I do enjoy it. I, yeah. Because it's, it's a change from the norm, and you know, I, <laughs> I don't do a lot of editing in mind, Mark, as you may have noticed. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, well, <laughs> just when let, it, when it cut, that's true, Mark. Let, um, let the camera uh, run. That's what yeah, I say. Just let it run. When it's cut off, <laughs> well, jobs are good. Mm. When I'm doing rebuildables, obviously there's a lot more editing because I've, you know, I'm doing this cam, two different cams there, and it's just it's a ball ache. I've, listen, me and technology are horrific, my friend. I can't really, and I thought you were good. I thought you. Were I still can't get to grips with like editing software and stuff like that. It's a ball ache for me. That's that's the one thing I've never enjoyed. Um, 
I know people like Mike in Chat MF, he loves the editing side of it. He loves learning about stuff like that. Um, for me, that's always been the chore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I get frustrated when I can't do stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it's, I'm the same. It's like lack of knowledge, and I, I get really like white knuckled. <laughs> Yeah, I know. it's like I don't want to learn again. I don't. I don't want to sit down and learn stuff. That that's boring. I want to just make videos, and that's it. I don't want to be learning about. Yeah, I I was doing. Um, what was that I wanted to do? Oh yeah, PNG file, and I thought, how do I do that? And I thought I've done them before. I know I've done them. How did I do it? And that's part of, of what frustrates me. You once you've done something, you should remember it. But yeah, for some reason you don't, and then you. <laughs> I've got honestly, I've got a memory like a uh, sewer. Honestly, it just floats away. It's just the most ridiculous memory. I can do something all week, the same thing all week, and then I try and do it the week after, and I'm like, how did I ever do that? What's I should have wrote it down. <laughs> well, yeah, ridiculous? and and there should be. I think that's a sign of getting older. You have to write everything down. But <laughs> Mark, I my word on my computer is just literally no after no after no about is stuff it? I've done. <laughs> <laughs> what was this? Um, oh yes, Unicron again. Um, what's he put here? You guys just need some shit devices to review what's on. <laughs> Let some steam out. I agree. Sometimes you do, and uh, I'm very honest with my reviews, and I know Mark is too. And like I mean, this Bomber, so I, I gave it quite a. And all, but I mean, there, there have been customers or review or subscribers, sorry, of mine that have said, I'm loving mine. And, and that gets back to what we were talking about earlier. Some people will get on well yeah. with something that we don't. Different strokes are different thoughts, isn't it? Give them a zoo sex and then that bomb will sort of stray in the trash. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, that's the thing with Vapors, though. It's all about chasing that next best thing. And for me, I've always, I've always found like if, if I'm comfortable with something and I really enjoy something, I'll, I'll continue to use it. I don't see any need to chase that next best RTA or tank or anything like that. If something's good, it's good. And it, I agree. I, I do agree. And the, this, this, this Zeus X will be staying with me for months and months and months. You'll see me vaping on this now constantly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, it is good. Yeah, um... I like the drip tip as well. It's really short. yeah. I love the drip tip. And I listen, it's not just it's not all about just performance. It's about the, the whole package for me. It's the looks, the 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 flavour, the performance. You know the, the way it's made, the, the non leaking. It's just an all round, absolutely yeah. solid performing tank. Yeah. No, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. I don't think I'll need to do a review. I think you boys will all do that job for me. <laughs> <laughs> but. Okay, well, I reckon it's time to time to wrap this up. And Mark, I'm going to start with you. I'm going to thank you first for coming on. It's been lovely to have you on the show. Um, I think we always learn something as well. I've learned stuff tonight. You know, you do as as you chat like this. You, you yeah. do learn things, and you know there are. Uh, <laughs> you never know it all by no it's been an absolute life. pleasure mark and a nice change of pace just you know nice relaxed just, just chit chat about vaping um yeah really nice i've enjoyed it thank you norfolk for uh, having me on <laughs> they call it the norfolk slow <laughs> <laughs> no but I, listen this, this is this is my kind of bag as well just sitting back talking about vaping like you know stuff me and you have learned over the years because we i think between us we're quite knowledgeable on yeah uh, vaping. um so it's, it's good to share that yeah well thank you mark as i say it's, it's been fantastic to have you and everybody in chat thank you very much i've seen uh, at some points so i did look at the screen we've had over 100 watching which is amazing it's just you know it's it's incredible I, I was surprised when i first started this how many viewers i got which is is superb it means a lot and oh, you're, you're, you're a good man mark uh, and if i may recommend uh, a guest uh, get dino on dino's more than welcome and i i spoke to vic earlier today was it today mm. yesterday and he's agreed to come on monday with me as well one tuesday and you know possibly when he's he's tank is available i'd have thought be nice to have a chat with him yeah it would yeah um so yeah dean's dean's coming on um uh, or sorry vic's coming on and 
Dean would be nice. I'd love to have Dean on. He's got... <laughs> yeah, get all the boys on. Chris, Dean. Yeah, Rich, yeah. And Chris, all, all do it, man. Yeah, yeah. If you're all, all happy to do it, then it'd be fantastic to have you all. So thanks, everyone, as I say, in chat. Thanks for all your comments. I hope we answered your, your questions to your satisfaction. <laughs> I know we tried. And until next Tuesday, 8.30, take care. Bye, Bye guys. Uh...